Dooby dooby doo. Right, this is not going well. Come on. Hello, welcome back if you're just joining us. We are having our third attempt at this route. The game keeps crashing uh, on me. So hopefully it's going to be third time lucky. I'm just getting it loaded up and we will get started. If you are watching this back on YouTube and you've got no idea what's going on, um, then we, yeah, we've experienced a couple of crashes. So we've done all the introduction and all that. We're not going to do that again. So... Play Train Simulator, 64 Brit. I've pressed play. Uh, yeah, I've restarted the computer. And the sound just works. So, go figure, is all I can say. I'm just loading up Train Sim now, guys. Uh, let's press a button on the soundboard to see if the sound is working. Yeah, sound works at my end. Um, you probably didn't hear that because I haven't got voice mod set up properly yet. Let's press that button there. Let's go. Hello and welcome back to attempt number... Whatever attempt number we're on. This is attempt number three. It's going to work this time. I can hear things in my headphones. 24-hour um, live stream coming up. Computer not wanting to work. Doesn't bode well. Uh, I'm going to try updating all my drivers and bits and bobs as well. I'm just seeing if I can uh, sort of figure out what's going on. The only thing I've done differently, I've, ins I've installed City Skylines 2 lately, so uh, it could possibly be that, could possibly be that, who knows. Rightio, let's get you into the game. And hopefully everything is working just as it should be. I can hear things, hey! <laughs> right, okay, select route. We are doing... Um, Great UC Main Line, London to Ipswich. Let's have another go at this. Um... Class 90, advance, there we go, press start, we've done all the reading, let's jump straight in. Pig and Bob, Grape Juice, East Midlands Railway fan, in space, Super Tram, Jonathan, Sam Brooks. Uh, Eliza, welcome back, Laserjet, welcome back. Sip of tea, right. <laughs> we had 70 odd viewers, we're down to 27. But I'm still here, it's still working. Uh, we do normally have issues of a technical nature, but... I would say today is probably excessive compared to what we do normally get. Hey, Lewis, good evening. Hello, welcome. Or welcome back, potentially. Right, let's jump in. Okay. In theory, in theory, I know what I'm doing now, so this should all work quite easily. Key on. Acknowledging everything we need to be acknowledging. Right. Um, do, 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 do. Tail lights off. Marker lights on. Headlights are somewhere... Uh, let's press H. That does the trick. We are set on the front, which is what we want to be. Uh, we'll press T to start loading. We're getting good at this. Um, into the DVT to set the headlights. Tail light, sorry, on. Back in the front. Right, we can take our DRA off because the signal has cleared. Everything is working my end. Everything is working my end. We still need a tea and biscuits. Do you know what? Everything that's gone wrong so far, I, I, I do you know, it, it's, it's got to be tea and biscuits, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Third time lucky, says 156 Andrew. Absolutely. It's because I haven't streamed for so long. It's, it's just my fault. I'm just rusty. Okay, let's just hold the brakes in initial there. What have we got here miles an hour why is that showing at 110 not quite sure what that's all about there so I've got me speedo there me brake pipe pressure uh, and me main res pipe is quite low and me, me brake cylinders going on there not sure what this dial here is telling me Some, somebody will know somebody will know uh, Richard don't jinx yourself I'll try not to 156 Andrew definitely <laughs> yeah Josh we're back and it's working that's the speed set. Ah, okay. Right, nice one. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Right, two on the buzzer. I think that means we can go. Let's have another go at this. Hey, I've got sound. I can hear what's going on. We are off to Manning Tree in our Class 90 cruise control. It is working. It is working. 
Let's get some windscreen wipers on. I do like the rain effect. That does look quite nice. Uh, we want some instrument lights as well, don't we? We made this mistake last time. Uh, instrument lights. Dim. There we go. Right, we are speeding and I've got no excuses this time. Let's drop that speed back down to... No, we're good for 30. And then 45. Let's get a little bit of power in. Uh, Artie, are we back properly? Can you hear now? I can hear Artie. I can. You're quite good with computers, my friend. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to update all my drivers and, and hope for the best. But yeah, going into a 24-hour live stream uh, when the computer's got to perform for 24 hours, it's... I, I'm I'm very tempted just to do a fresh install of Windows before then, but I think it might be a hardware problem. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I'm blaming the kids. They, they've been spending too much time on the computer. Um, Robin's Man's Transport. The 2030 Davros stream has been delayed. This is due to Richard's PC deciding not to function correctly. It's technology. Me and technology don't mix. Bring WD-40. The rail is rusty. <laughs> okay, let's have a little running brake test, make sure the brakes are working correctly. So what we want to do really when we have a running brake test is see a 10 mile an hour reduction in speed. Um, we're just actually checking that the brakes are functioning. So you, don't, you do a brake test statically, um, you just check the dials are moving, but your running brake test is your first opportunity to actually assess the braking performance of the train. Um, our company policy when we do running brake tests is minimum of 30 miles an hour and a 10 mile an hour reduction in speed. Right, let's get it going. We're off to Manning Tree. We've got 8 miles. We're good for 100. Uh, Harry, no, I haven't seen the message. Do feel free to send it through again, bud. Yeah, East Midlands, I, I might do. I might do. I'm tempted. I, I I do think it's a hardware problem, though, rather than a software problem. But we'll see, we'll see. So we have got 64 of you lovely people in. Ignoring all the previous technical difficulties. <laughs> if you could like and subscribe if you haven't already, that would be absolutely brilliant. Come back tomorrow, we'll do it properly. Uh, Artie, this is your route, bud. You, you, you know this. We should have, should have had you in the voice chat to conducting. Uh, Eliza, heritage season is over. Yeah, it is indeed. Um, I didn't get to any heritage ra railways this year, actually, which is quite sad. I always say every year, I sort of say to myself, I'm going to visit more Heritage Railways, but just never seem to get around to doing it. Right, we're going to see at least if we can get the station stop at Manning Tree right. Artie, yes, this is my route. The braking tones are different in the Class 90. Yeah, I, I should imagine you need a bit longer to stop in a Class 90 than what you do in a... Um, uh, I'm useless with numbers. You know the ones. Uh, Harry Easton, the train spotter. I saw 57003 and 57010 of RHTT. And a few 66s and the... 67 on the Pullman as well. Uh, where were you out spotting, Harry? How are we doing? Five miles. Keeping a wide open there for the minute. 720 stop rather rapidly compared to the 90s. Um... If there is a 7... I believe there is a 720 for trains in Classic RT. We'll have to uh, load that one up, bud, and get you on the stream. Oh, Maystone East and West, Harry. Nice one. 
Uh, I don't sign any of the Maidstones myself. It's, uh, yeah, haven't, haven't had the pleasure. Right, 97 mile an hour just under. We'll shut back the power there. We're on a slight downhill. We can let that run. Uh, Robinsman Transport, uh, no, I wouldn't have been driving that one because that is a Kent circuit and I only do the Sussex circuits. So from memory, just before we come into Manning Tree, don't we have like a nice uh, viaduct? I think there's a nice long viaduct that we go across before Mar Manning Tree. <laughs> you knew I was going to say that, Artie. <laughs> uh, Josh Rickwood. In case you didn't see Richard, I got a medical with South Eastern for a trainee driver with start date in January. Over two years in the recruiting process. Any advice? Oh, that is absolutely brilliant, Josh. That is absolutely... Um, South Eastern, if you've got a medical, then then effectively, you've, you, providing you pass the medical, you'll, you'll be offered the job. You've got the job. Um, they won't send people for medicals unless they plan on offering them jobs because it costs quite a lot of money. South Eastern's training is superb. Um, but it's one thing I would give them credit for. Their training is absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, just take your time. Enjoy the process. Don't rush your training. If there's anything, I know everyone's very keen to get your hours in and get passed out. But just take your time. Make sure you're 100% 100% confident and competent. Ask questions. People are really helpful. People are there to help you. And... Uh, you know, remember you're there for the long haul. You want a driving career for a long time, so yeah. Right, we're just coming up, we're just two miles out. I'm just gonna drop a little bit of brake in. We've got an 80 coming up as well. Um, see if we get any low adhesion. One and a half miles out. Drop a little bit more brake in. Yeah, the Eliza, the, the high pitch horn is a bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. I'm not a fan. Going to get a little bit more break in now. So, Manning Tree seems to be coming up a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Good old English weather, he said, watching from Australia. Ah, oh, I bet you've got lovely weather out there. take the brakes back a little bit so uh, you, it's much preferably it's much preferable to over brake rather than under brake um, running into a station too slow is much much better than overshooting the platform tea and biscuits if you overshoot the platform it's much easier to explain a delay than it is a safety of the line incident No worries, Josh. You're more than welcome, bud. And just, yeah, best of luck with it all. And if you need any help or advice along the way, then, yeah, feel free to drop me a message. Um, or anyone in any of the drivers in the Discord server, they'll be more than happy to help you out. And you can join our staff group in the Discord server if you want, if you're not already in there. Manning Tree. Oh, they're missing the cafe. Manning Tree has got an absolutely fabulous little bar cafe type thing on the platform. Um, 4 to 8, I'm guessing we're going down to the 12. God, the brakes on this are really shocking. The brake, no, the brakes are not good. Passengers on the platform, that's all that matters. <laughs> Um, yeah, as Artie says, there's, there's also a very handy section on the 24-hour live stream at about 1am about railway recruitment. Um, so, yeah, the 24-hour Children in Need live stream. I haven't, I haven't actually done a live stream since I announced that I was going to do this, providing the computer plays ball. Um, got some absolutely fabulous guests coming on there. So the first guest of the day at 11am, um, to be confirmed, will be Ian Langton, who's the GBRF uh, production director. Um, he's going to speak about his time in the industry, 
um, and offer advice. We've got Network Rail Signalers on there. We have other train drivers on there. We have um, Bessie Matthews, um, who won Rail Person of the Year at the National Rail Staff Awards, author and children's illustrator extraordinaire. Uh, we've got Matt Peddleston as well. <laughs> we've also got um, Helen, a.k.a. Propaganda or Helen Drives Trains. Um, she's going to be talking about neurodiversity on the railway. So there is a whole schedule of people that are going to be joining us for the BBC Children in Need live stream. Artie as well, who's also in uh, Northern Princess Productions. Um, Hazel's Network Rail Signaler. And if I've missed anyone out, I'm really sorry. Oh, Features Gaming, The British Ace, Mum Rail. <laughs> uh, there might even be a guest appearance from my dad. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a really good event. So um, the, the live stream is already on YouTube, it's already been scheduled, you can find it on there. Um, and each segment of the stream is going to go out as a separate video, because I understand people are not going to sit there for 24 hours and watch the whole thing. So each guest segment will go out as a separate video. If you want to donate to that, you can donate now. There is a Just Giving page, um, and that is the, the link to that is in the description below. So if you want to show your support, um, and anything you can give is welcome. If you can't, then just come along. Uh, the great thing about doing a charity live stream is you are supporting the charity simply by watching. Uh, because all the ad revenue from the stream will go to the charity as well. So even if you can't afford to give anything, just simply by watching, you are helping. But yeah, but if you if you want to if you want to make a donation now, you can do the just giving link is in the description below. But that should be, I'm I'm quite hyped for it. I'm very excited for it. it should be a really good event. Uh, Artie will also be mentioned in neurodiversity. Fantastic. Anakin sounds great. Yeah, I'm I, I'm really looking forward to it, Anakin. It's going to be a bit of an endurance test for me. Um, Game-wise, we're going to be doing a bit of Transport Fever, Train Sim World, Train Sim Classic. Um, City Skylines 2, I would like to do. I've spent quite a few hours in that lately. I should have been live streaming and I've been playing City Skylines 2. Um, but that is a bit unstable at the moment. It's caused a couple of crashes. So I'm probably going to steer clear of that. But yeah, that should, should definitely be a good event. Robin's Transport, I met your dad once at Hastings Station. Yeah, he, he works at Hastings Station. Right, where are we off to? We are off to Colchester in six and a bit miles. So, let's play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. We are getting back into the flow of things now. Things are touch wood. Things are working. Hey, Jason, how are we doing, bud? I'm good. I'm very good. How are you, my friend? Jason, I had a look at Banished, and I will download it and play it because it looks right up my street. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, what are we reckoning? Eliza, you're the third one on my screen with number 13. Let's play. Let's play. Locomotive livery location. You know the score by now, guys. Number 13. 10 seconds for that locomotive, locomotive livery location, if you can, please. Here we go. Gives you a bit more of the locomotive there. Got a couple of you saying 47s earlier on, a couple of you saying 56s. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Anakin, I want to play City Skylines 2, but my computer can't handle it. They have put quite a lot of patches out for City Skylines 2. I do understand that it is a little bit better now. Uh, when I first downloaded it, I, I mean, I've got a quite a high spec machine and I was getting really, really poor frame rate. Um, but it has definitely improved, so maybe worth keeping an eye on it. Um, what are we reckoning then, guys? What are we reckoning? Laser Jet Overshoots, 47 I reckon. GCR support has gone, BR Blue 56. Um, lots of people going 47. Robin's Man's Transport has gone to 56 as well. Could be a 57, you know. Um, Eliza, I'm going for a 59 without any convictions, to be fair. Hey, funny galley, gal, funny gal, galley, hello, how we doing? I do apologise for my pronunciation. Mark Davies gone 47 BR livery. Could be a 69. Oh, let's just put it out there. Could be a 69.
Right, Colchester's only two miles away. I'm thinking we should probably think about getting some braking. Looking at how bad the brakes were at Manning Street, we should probably probably get on with that. Um, could be one of the new 69s as GC Hospital. There we go. Richard Sweeney, yeah, all good, thank you, bud, all good. Josh Rickwood, I saw a 47 coming into the street the other day. It was the end of a freight train, nice. One of the things we've had recently down sort of my neck of the woods have been class 60s, Devon and Cornwall Railway class 60s. I do like a class 60 and it's been really nice to kind of see those out and about on the network. Artie, you really probably should be slowing down. Hey, we've still got a mile to go and we're doing 50. Let's release those brakes. Um, theatre box platform free. That's interesting. Is that signal a theatre box in real life, Artie? Because... At this speed, I, I didn't think you could use theatre boxes at high speed. I thought there was like a 40 mile an hour speed limit or something like that for the use of theatre boxes. Um, sorry, they're not called theatre boxes now, are they? They're called um, alphanumeric route indicators. Right, what are we doing? Coming in 40, going on a slight downhill. Let's see if we can get a half decent stop. Mark Day, we do often see the Knight Riviera with the class 57s. Yeah, I, I managed to take the... I've only just signed class 57s and I managed to take them out in anger the other day for the first time. Um, they are absolutely lovely to drive. They're, they're, I would go as far as to say they might be my new favourite train to drive. I might prefer driving those over a over a 73. Uh, Josh, no, I don't sign the valley. <laughs> oh, no worries, bud. I'll, I'll let you off. I'll let you off. I know you're still doing your hours with your, um, your DI at the moment, so I'll, I'll let you off. Just remembering the brakes on this is shocking. Where's the stop car marker? There's the eight. Yeah, I'm going down to the twelve. I need to, I need to double check. I think we were eight coaches. If in doubt, go to the end of the platform. I'm just remembering how this stopped at Manning Tree, so. And you always want to stop on a rising break if you can, so I'm not going to manage it because I don't want to go past the signal. Um, but once you come to a stand, you want to be releasing the brakes so you don't get that nasty sort of um, jolt going on. Uh, let's just check the back of the train. Yeah, I, w I would say... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 coaches in total, yeah. So we definitely want to be stopping down at 12. Um, 156 Andrew, I think it is fast to London now. Um, yep, pick up passengers from London, Liverpool Street. We are fast down to London. To so say... Sort of a... a, a sh I mean, it's, it's it's been about an hour, 70 minute run um, today. I kind of wanted to do something a little bit shorter to kind of get me back into the habit of doing live streams and get me back into the swing of things and remembering to press all the right buttons and trying to work out how the sound works on the computer and that sort of thing <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear uh, Harry Easton my flying Scotsman crashed oh no Harry that that is absolutely tragic was it into a buffet car Can you say that? <laughs> did anyone see, after the Flying Scotsman shunted rather heavily into the buffet car, did anyone see the Thomas the Tank Engine meme that come out regarding that? Or well, not come out, it was already a meme. It wasn't a meme, it was already, you know, it was a scene from Thomas the Tank Engine where Henry shunts into a buffet car and everything goes flying. Ah, oh, it's so funny. It was so relevant at the time, though. <laughs> right, while we are waiting for the passengers to load, which seems to be taking an age, let's press... Um, this is 
hopefully going to work. I'm setting it up so it does work. Let's press this button here. Not that one. This one. Way something works. Something works. Reggie's transport videos. Look at that sparky. 73 with 90 on the front coming through Bexhill on sea by the looks of it. That was yesterday. That was me driving. Um, very rare that I get to go along that that route, um, the East Coastway. So that was really nice to do that. Had a lovely run as well, especially going back. Absolutely lovely run. If you do want to post any pictures, you can do in the live stream pictures page on the Discord server. If you're not in the Discord server already, you will find a link to that in the description below. Yeah, this is taking... I wonder if I just leave if it's going to break the game. I've got to wait for the timer to finish. Uh, not Gordon, sorry, Henry. Henry, Gordon is blue. Right. We should get two on the bell now, hopefully. Did we already have it? Did I miss it? There we go. I've done it for him. Right, we've got a green. Let's get going. We are straight down to London, Liverpool Street. Uh, Raygun, how's the 90 going? It's It goes all right. It just doesn't stop. <laughs> having issues stopping the thing. It's really weird. I, was, I take it back. I was going to say we haven't got an ammeter, but we have over there, haven't we? So. It's quite a decent looking train, to be fair. Try and get a flyby shot. We haven't done one of those yet. Hey, Game Tech UK, how are we doing? Good evening. Hello and welcome. Nice. Nearly had a vigilance activation there whilst out of the cab. That would have been embarrassing. So yeah, for those of you just joining, my nice, different view of my living room, with stuff absolutely everywhere. I've uh, I've got kind of an under the stairs cupboard that I'm in the process of, of rebuilding. Um, so everything's kind of come out of the under the stairs cupboard and is all over the place. And the computer's been moved around because I'm kind of building a new desk in and all sorts of stuff. So I do apologise for the, the clutter and the mess in the background. I'm trying to get it set up nicely for the, the children in need stream. but. I think I might have to spend a couple of weeks trying to fix my computer to make sure it actually lasts for 24 hours. Um, Train Boy, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Can you look at Discord? Do you know what? For, for that, I've... Yeah, go on. Go on. Is that you down in the left there, Train Boy? It looks like... Is that Harry Potter World or something like that, maybe? Pendolino at Euston? It's like the Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway down on the right. Not sure what the middle bottom middle is there though. You'll have to let me know. I don't know what that one might be. Uh, typical name from Richard. What team do you support? Uh, I'm not. <sighs> yeah, my dad supports. But I'm not really a, a, a big football fan, if I'm being completely honest with you. Yeah, but my, my, my dad supports that, um, that, that. Yeah. But that's how we're going to deal with that question. Amy, it's not been updating, I don't think. Let's have a little click on it. Um, ah, no, you are right, okay. Uh, my bad, completely and utterly my bad. Let's try that again, continue. 
there we go. Oh, look at that Vectron at St Pancras with the new um, free roam mode in Train Sim World 4. How are people getting on with Train Sim World 4 and the free roam modes? Personally, I am most definitely a fan of it. I am most definitely a fan of it. Yeah, Train Boy, very, very generous to you. Thank you very much, bud. Hey, Richard, I'm good. How are you, my friend? Uh, we're so good with speeding. And Tim Trainer has become a member. Thank you very much, Tim. We do normally have less technical difficulties. These these streams are normally semi-professional. Honestly, these these streams are normally really, really professional, and we never have any issues whatsoever. Uh, Gordon, I saw the video where the flying Scotsman hit the buffers. Yeah, it was that was nasty. That was nasty. Amy, I love the free roam. Been sending various trains where they shouldn't be. I tell you what I like about the free roam. I like the fact that I can load up. So, for example, I loaded up Brighton Mainline the other day and spawned the 700, and I followed a stopping service. I made sure I run behind a stopping service all the way out of Brighton. And you're running on yellow signals, and it's it's more real to driving. The, but the one thing that I, in Train Sim World, that doesn't annoy me, but the one thing I find unrealistic is, I mean, we've, we're doing it here. I mean, we are on an express train, so I suppose it's, it's, you know, maybe different. But you just run for hours and hours and hours on green signals. When you're actually driving a train in real life, that isn't the case. Quite often, I mean, there are times when you do run for hours on greens, but quite often you're catching something up, you're running on yellow, Signalman's forgot to pull the road for you. Not that that ever happens, of course. Um, so yeah, the, the fact that you can load up something in free road and follow a stopping train gives you that kind of responding to signals. Um, and I, yeah, I, I, I really like that. I really like that. Uh, Mark, yeah, love the free mode on the on Brighton Mainline. Tracing World 4 often causes delays. <laughs> Great. Grape juice is uh, is going to start a fan theory thing there. Thomas the Tank Engine predicts the future, part one. Lee Smith, at the end of the line, it is common to see signals that cannot go above yellow. Do such signals exist elsewhere? Um, good question. So, at the end of the line, you'll get signals that can only display single yellows um, because the buffer stop would be your next signal. I, I guess you could have them in other locations, um, but yeah, I, I don't think it's particularly common. You, ha you have signals that are not capable of showing a red aspect, so they can show green or yellow. They would be distant signals. Um, it's equivalent to the old semaphore, distant on or off. Um, but as for a signal that can, can't show any more than a single yellow that isn't approaching buffer stops, um, yeah, I, I'm not aware of any that, that are not an approach to terminal stations. Um, but quite possibly, quite possibly would be my answer to that. Quite possibly. So is this line 100 all the way down to London or do we get any 110 running? Roblox Olympics, can you please check Discord? We will do that. And while you people are posting your numbers, we will have a look in Discord. Uh, has that updated this time? What is going on there in the bottom left? It's blurry, but what is going on there? I feel like we need an explanation for that. Hey Blues Memes! Hey, I'm in high school at the moment. My dream is to become a train driver on the East Coast Mainline. Do you know the best way I could become one? Uh, I have got absolutely loads of videos on the channel regarding that, but I just do go through and check those. Um, my advice for you would be stay in school, 
get some decent GCSEs behind you, go to college and get some A-levels or, or whatever you fancy studying at college. And then once you reach 18, join the railway doing any job you like. So don't necessarily apply for a driver straight away, apply for platform staff, apply for conductor, um, and then apply to become a driver through an internal channel rather than as an external applicant because your chances of getting a job uh, are much, much greater. But I, I would say, honestly, get some decent qualifications behind you because although, now, although take, take it from someone with a bit of experience in this area, although at the moment you may have your heart set on becoming a train driver and that may be exactly what you want to do, you know, it could be that you, for some reason, can't get through the psychometric testing, it could be that you fail the medical, it could be that you do train driving for four or five years and you decide it's not for you and you want to do something else. So having those qualifications behind you to back you up is still going to give you options. So work hard, get the best qualifications you can, uh, and then take it from there. That that would be my my top tip. Right, what are we reckoning? in? Trace from Berkshire, 100 miles an hour max. Thank you very much. Third number on my screen, Robinsman Transport, number 19. Let's play locomotive livery location. Give you box number 19, guys. 10 seconds for that locomotive livery location if you can. <laughs> Everyone's zooming in on the data plate now. I'm just putting it out there that it could be a 69. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Adam, we are currently driving a class 90. Mark Davey have struggled to get any work on the railway due to having learning disabilities. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, bud. Um, generally speaking, the railway are, are quite a good employer. They, they do employ um, neurodiverse people with, with learning difficulties. So um, I would say definitely keep at it. We're going to have, on the BBC Children You Need live stream, we're going to be doing quite a lot of chatting about neurodiversity and working on the railway. Um, so do check that out. But yeah, just, just keep at it, bud, would be my opinion. Um, Matt has gone class 33, GCR class 47, look at the vents. Uh, LWL, 50, GBRF 56, ah, it could be. Uh, Water Orton. Eliza's going with 59. What do you think, what do you think? So we are about what, 35 miles off of Liverpool Street. Good for 100. We're sticking bang on the mark there. Now we're on slight downhill, so she's going to creep up a little bit. Uh, Tim Trainer, what is your favourite train sim, Richard? I, for, for variety. For variety, train some classic. For realistic driving experience, open BVE. And for graphics, train sim world. That that is a very open answer, I know. If I was to have to pick one out of the three, probably train sim world. Um, yeah, I, that, that, I, I yeah, I, I go train sim world. Agree. Do we come down towards, is it Mark's Tay in a minute, or have we already been through Mark's Tay? You can tell I, I, my route knowledge on here is non-existent. It's typical English autumnal miserable day. I'm out driving, um, talking about miserable autumnal. I am driving railhead treatment trains tomorrow on Wednesday, so that's that's always lots of fun. Slipping and sliding all over the place. Pig and Bob, I'm going to guess it's 69007 for locomotive location delivery. You could be right. Sam Brooks, Mark's Day was the first one after Colchester. 
I wish it gave you the station names on the um, heads up display, that would be pretty cool. It would be kind of nice to know um, what's going on, sort of where I am, be able to follow along. It's one thing I wish they'd, they'd put in. Uh, Mark Tate was the first one after Colchester. I haven't been paying attention, but Mark Tate and Kelton are between Colchester and with them. Yes, 85 coming up. Then do we get, I want to say we get like Bentley or something like that is down here. Um, before we get to Chelmsford. With them, Bentley, Chelmsford, is that correct? And the only reason I'm saying that is because I've done a... Um, there's going to be a new station there. I believe they're putting in a new station as well down that way because I'd done a, an engineering possession there a little while ago. They're building like a massive new housing estate. Right, we're down for that 85. We've got a 60 coming up as well. Let's get a little bit of break in for that. Um, Hatfield, Peverell, Chelmsford, Ingerstone, Shenfield. I pronounced all of those wrong, I know. Peverell, Chel is it Peverell? Bewley, that's the one. I said Bentley, Bewley, yeah. I knew what I meant. We come down for the 60. So are we coming towards Chelmsford now? It looks like quite a substantial station. I'm, I'm saying we're coming towards Chelmsford. Robox Olympics, I'm a wheelchair user. Are there railway-based jobs which I can do? I would say absolutely yes, Roblox Olympics. Um, I would look at possibly signalling. I would say that a, a wheelchair user, you could work in a um, signalling centre. Control-based jobs, stuff like that. Um, I, I think there definitely are opportunities, definitely. You are approaching Chelmsford. I got something right! That means we're getting near London as well. Yeah, I'm good at speeding today. Um, what have we got? 29 miles to Liverpool Street. So looking at the information that's become available in the public domain now, it looks like we might be getting a release quite soon on the Just Trains Blackpool route for Train Sim World 4. Have, has anyone seen a definite date for that yet? I've seen some dates kind of been thrown about. Have, have they officially announced a date for that? I know the release must be getting close. Um, certainly very much looking forward to, to playing that when it comes out. It does look absolutely awesome. Lots of variety of traction on there, which is really good to see. Uh, David 2008, I have seen... Wait, I have seen all of these realistic trains you drive on the simulator. I brought train simulator and none of the trains are as realistic. Is my game broken? Um, David, have you got Train Sim World or Train Sim Classic? Uh, because if you're playing on Train Sim Classic, then it's quite possible that you don't have any of the enhancement packs. Uh, unfortunately, the trains that come with Train Sim Classic are quite basic. You then have to go to a company like um, Armstrong Powerhouse and you have to pay extra money to get like enhancement packs to your trains. Which I know, I know, I know, I, it's not good, I don't agree with it, but that's kind of just, just the way Train Sim works. It's a little bit of a money pit, if I'm being honest. Uh, Pig and Bob, Blackpool Train Sim World 4 is the 14th of this month. That, yeah, that is the date that I've seen as well. Um, I didn't want to say it in case it wasn't public, but yeah, that, that is the date that I have seen. Um, and of course, we've got the Children in Need livestream on the 17th, so that will tie in quite nicely. We shall uh, 
This will give us lots of options playing on that. What are we, 85? Shut the power back a little bit. So I'm guessing we're going to be coming down towards like um, Ilford, Shenfield, Stratford. Possibly not in that order. Hey, train driver Sam, how are we doing, my friend? Good to have you here. Yeah, David, 2008, that, that is just the way it is. Train Sim Classic, that the kind of base game is, it, it's quite an old game now. It come out, someone will tell me the year because I've completely forgotten. It, it is a very old game now. Um, but thanks to third party developers, you can get add ons that do make it a lot more realistic. So, for this, for example, I've got a weather enhancement pack, a sky enhancement pack, a track enhancement pack. Um, yeah, you, you kind of just improve the way that the game looks quite substantially. Uh, Henry Dunn, if you press F6, the station name will appear going through the station. Right, I have done that. Thank you. I did not know that. That is, that is very good to know. Uh, Tim Trainer, so yeah, I'm, this is Train Sim Classic that we're playing here, Tim. Uh, 2012, I believe this is. It does say in the description. Um, it says in the scenario description, anyway, yeah. I, I'm sure it was 2012. Oh, sorry, you mean the release date for Train Sim Classic? Right, I've got you. <laughs> 2009, 2007. It, it was some, somewhere sort of, yeah, somewhere around there. Hey, LW Rail, how you doing? Great to have you here. Uh, two roads, I hope neither of those are mine. No, we've got the green there. Hey, JB Video, good evening. Ah, uh, Roblox Olympics, the very picture on Discord from me. I was getting off my train at Alton and my door was parallel to the front of a Black Five on the Watercrest line. Nice. I've never been down to the Watercrest. Um, I, I say it every single year. Next year, I am definitely, definitely going to be out there uh, trying to do a bit more on preservation. Talking of being out there, this coming Sunday, which I believe is the... What's the date of the Sunday? Is it the 12th? This coming Sunday, the 12th. We are doing a community meetup at the London Transport Museum. Details in the Discord server. Um, if anyone is in the London area and would like to come along and have a chat with me and have a, a sort of a meet up with the community, um, there's a few of us confirmed coming along. London Transport Museum on the 12th. And then on the 25th of October, no, November, that's gone. 25th of November, I am going to be at the Worley Model Railway Exhibition at the NEC, so if you are up there and you see me wandering around, then uh, do come and say hello. Uh, JBB, you need to reinstall the AP signals. Okay, two yellows. Here we have some work to do. We get some serious braking. These signals look like they're quite close together. Somebody's at the front door. One yellow, red ahead. Sorry, I'm just listening to the conversation going on. <laughs> um, Artie, Shenfield, Brentwood, Harold Wood, Gida Park, Romford, Shadwell Heath. Shadwell, Shadwell Heath or Shadwell then Heath? Good My, Seven Kings, Ilford, Manor Park, Forest Gate, Maryland, Stratford, London, Liverpool Street. Nice. Yeah, Jonathan, I believe I've got that installed, the AP Cloud Enhancement Pad. That, that is on here. Uh, red ahead has gone to one yellow. Your signals have the default textures. I assume you've done a TS reinstall at some point. Uh, I haven't, no. No, I don't know why that is. 
Uh, I can re download that, that's not a problem though. One yellow platform number two. Yellow ahead as well. One yellow up to two yellows. We'll keep coasting for the minute. We don't want to be chasing red signals. That's never a good thing to do. It increases our risk of having a spad. Increases our workload. Uh, it doesn't give me the station name though, does it? Gives me the other services there. That's Shemfield. We're going slow enough to know that's Shemfield. Two yellows onto two yellows would suggest that we're travelling at a similar speed to the train in front. Um, we'll give it a little bit of power just to maintain the speed. Pendolino56, hello, how are we doing? We have got two yellows. So we just we just keep a little bit of power and then we're just going to kind of hold the speed for a minute. Idealistically, we want to get back to running on greens. JB Video, don't think... Reset, reset. Don't think I've ever had a spad in train suit. Oh, well done, bud. Excellent. Uh, Roblox Olympics, I'm not entirely sure what the criteria is for signalling in terms of qualifications. Um... On the Children in Need live stream, we will have a signaller on there, so uh, hopefully he, he will be able to answer that question for you. It's a nice slow run down into London. I expect this is probably probably typical. That stepped up to green, there we go. So we won't get too excited because we don't want the next one to be too yellow, so I've given it about 70% power. We'll get it going a little bit. Um, we don't want to let the train in front get too far away because then we're delaying the train behind us if we're dawdling. Um, but now we're back on greens, we start accelerating a little bit. Yeah, Jonathan, I, I was, I was, I was hitting the button. It wasn't having none of it. Hit it harder. <laughs> if in doubt, hit it harder. What are we getting on the next one? Looks like we got a green again, so let's give it the beans, get it back up to 90, and play a game. Post your numbers now for locomotive delivery location. It's a nice downhill run here as well. We are flying. Don't tap it, whack it. The DSD, absolutely, absolutely. Right, locomotive location delivery, third number on my screen, W4LT. Number seven. Let's play locomotive livery location. Here we go guys, box number seven. Any clues for the location? <laughs> Covers up the fact I was speeding as well then. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts below. Right, that's two yellows just literally cleared up to green. So I'm just gonna shut the power back at this point. Um, probably because we're speeding a little bit. And we can see the one off in the distance is too yellow, so I'm going to bring the speed down just a tad. Hopefully that's going to clear up to a green just as we approach it. There we go. So we just release the brakes and let that run. Looks like we're green onto green, which is a little... That's probably not my green, actually. That's probably the green for the... 
uh, slow lines. Mine's probably hidden around the corner. There we go. There's the yellows. Bit of a what we know, what we call a read across risk there, which is where you've got signals that are um, adjacent to each other and you've got parallel running. If you've got curves in the line, it's very easy to read the signal next to your one, uh, known as a read across risk. You could also have a read through risk here, where you read the signal ahead of your one. So if you're on like a long straight track. Um, you can see the next signal, so you're looking at that one rather than your one. Especially if the signal that's closer to you is obscured by trees or something like that. Um, it's known as a read-through risk, which, which is a cause of some spads. Train driver Sam should try 458. Several attempts of whacking the DST, but managed to eventually get it to reset. I struggle with the DST on 57s for some, excuse me, for some reason. I, I just, yeah. I don't know what it is, I just struggle with them. Um, super Super Alons, Stafford for loco location, could be, 47, Tim Trainer 47, Watford Junction, Pendolino 56 is Houston, Houston we have a problem, we did have, it seems to, it seems to have got much better, we're doing alright now, we're doing alright, it's working. We are on the yellows again. It's yellow to green. It's just going to keep the speed where it is. It's, it's absolutely perfect at the moment. If they're stepping up yellow to green as you're approaching them, that is exactly where you want to be. Um, because it means the training front hasn't got so far away that you're um, delaying everything behind you, but you're also not right up the... Um, how can I put this politely? You're not right up the of the train in front. Is it post-watershed? <laughs> TLAs. Hopefully that's going to come up. It's not, so we're going to have to stop putting a bit of break in. I was saying earlier, I, I said earlier that you never ever run on yellows, but it's quite nice to have that kind of little bit of variety going on. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Eliza, more like Houston, we have Houston, we have 390s. That's stepped up to two. This is a. This is the first time I've played this route. This is a pretty decent route for train sim, I must say. Um, I, I think I could do a bit more in this route. This, this is pretty decent. I'm enjoying this. Yes, uh, we'll say we'll, we'll put it like that. Rear end. <laughs> Two yellows, one yellow ahead. It's very easy when you're running continuously on lots of yellows to lose your focus and your concentration. Uh, looks like we've got two yellows there now. So we're just going to keep the speed as it is for the minute. Yeah, they're going back to red a little bit too soon, these signals. You're kind of seeing it out of the corner of your eye go back to red. Uh, Romford, Upminster Branch on the left there. Hey, Richard the Train Spot and more. How are you doing, bud? Yeah, we went through Manning Tree earlier, and I did mention... Um, when we were there at the 3 ones and the little cafe on the platform. Need to do that again sometime, bud. Need to hook up. Be good to see you. Just stepped up to a green. We'll give it a... Uh... No, we won't give it any power, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it rolling for the minute and see what the next signal gives us. Yeah, you can see the one off in the distance is giving us yellows again, so there's no point taking power. Hopefully that'll clear up to a green before we get there. Uh, get the 720s and I'm sure we can do... Ah, oh, RT, definitely, definitely. Uh, Jamie video on fraction speed signs, which speed limits do charters follow? Um, that's a good question. I believe it's the higher speed. They're, allowed, they're able to run at the higher speeds. Uh, subject to the maximum speed of the train or locomotive. So, yeah, depending on what the loco is and what the stock is, I mean, like... I went on a rail tour um, the other, well, a few months ago now with class 50s, and that was allowed to do 100. Um, so yeah, it does, does depend. But yeah, generally speaking, uh, or rule book speaking, depending on the coaching stock, if it's like Mark, uh, Mark threes, Mark fours, then yeah, they're, they're definitely following the higher speeds. Uh, right, we got green ahead. Let's get a little bit of speed in.
So Ar Artie, how's my driving? Am I am I sufficiently holding back or am I holding back too much? As a as a professional on this route. Yeah, as train driver Sam says, technically a passenger service, so follows the higher bottom speeds. Um, same applies for light engine. Light engines follow the, the, the higher speeds on differential speed signs as well. Um, although we are subject to additional restrictions with light engines. Um, yeah, then all other freight traffic, you follow the lower speeds. Uh, right, we're green again, so I'm going to get it going. Yeah, RT, in real life, I'm, I'm probably a lot more cautious. I, I, I drive like, um... I drive like, oh, what's the guy? I can't think, uh, James May, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I drive trains like James May, very slowly, Captain Slow, definitely. The thing is, there's no point rushing around, you're just, you know, you're increasing your risk of, especially when you're running on cautionary signals. You're increasing your risk, your operational risk, your risk of being a, a spad. If you're following, if you're running on yellows all the time, you're increasing your fatigue level. You need to maintain better situational awareness when you're running on yellows. And at the end of the day, you're not going to get home any sooner because you're still stuck behind the same train, whether you're one signal section behind it or three signal sections behind it. So, you know, in my opinion, and that I think of most drivers probably, we just rather hang back and run on greens. It's just a much nicer way to drive. Train driver Sam driving Miss Daisy I've been nicknamed recently. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, Sam. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Gotta agree. And we have got a hundred and one of you lovely people watching. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button. Uh, consider subscribing, that would be absolutely brilliant. Are we going to see any London Overground stuff on this around? I don't know if it's in this era. Um, no, I think it is. Up around Stratford, that'd be interesting to see if we get anything. We've had a lot of greens now, so I think we can get the power back and get it back up to 100. Or oh, 90 even. And we've just passed Ilford Depot. And as soon as I speed up, look, I'm back under yellow signals. So there's there's my point right there. That's stepped up to green. Uh, we're going to put the brakes in anyway, because yeah, we're obviously catching up whatever's in front. Two yellows. Using my commentary driving, and it stayed two yellows. One yellow, crikey, okay. Um, is that my green? No, that's my red next to it. <laughs> that's what we were saying earlier, read across. You can see the amount of signals we got up there. It's really difficult to know which one applies to us. If you had route knowledge, uh, that would certainly help in this situation. But I'm going to treat mine as... Uh, my last signal is one yellow, so I'm going to treat my next one as danger until I can establish... Um, 100% which signal's mine. I believe it's the one yellow. Uh, four tracks, four signals. So yeah, I, my, my one is the one yellow there. I'm happy to take that. Ilford Depot is notorious for being the laziest depot for drivers on our line. <laughs> one yellow, red ahead. 
making good use of commentary driving. There's a lot of drivers, uh, train drivers, that don't like commentary driving. So for those of you who don't know, commentary driving is basically just saying what you see. Um, so I'm calling out one yellow, calling out red, two yellows, other line side features. Um, red ahead, red ahead, red ahead. And the idea of that is by saying it out loud, you create kind of a feedback loop. So thinking it in your head is, is all very well. When you say it out loud, you then hear it. So you're kind of creating a loop. So it, it helps you to retain the information. I do hope that's not red. <laughs> I'm too busy talking about commentary driving. Let's just drop the handle. Too busy talking about commentary driving and nearly have a spad because I'm telling talking about commentary driving. Right, okay. DRA into neutral. Secure the train. Uh, do we need to report emergency brake applications? Depends on your company. Um, companies I work for, no, it's not reportable. Um, Sam and Artie be interested with your respective companies. Are you required to report emergency brake applications? Um, we didn't spad. We didn't go past the signal. We're about a local length away from it, so I'm taking that. I'm taking that. This is where we find out that the, the game is broken, because that would be the perfect end. Not entirely unexpected. Um, request to pass signal at danger tonight. Uh, RT is not required, and train drive Sam only unsolicited emergency brake applications. Yeah, we're the same. If it's unsolicited emergency, then you need to report it. But if, if it's driver initiated emergency, then there's no need. Um, the theory being that by telling people they have to report emergency brake applications, you're, you're discouraging people from using it. When in actual fact, if in doubt, chuck the lot in. Two yellows. Got a number nine. Uh, there's probably a stopping service in Stratford. Are you sure that's not the AP signal textures? They do look quite nice. I mean, possibly not. Yeah, you got a yellow. Yeah, I, I was half expecting it to be broken. I'll be completely honest with you. I was expecting it to be broken. Platform 9, usual platform. I went to Stratford. I'll tell you a story about Stratford. So, I can't remember what my last signal was. I think it stepped up to a green. Um, I'm going to treat the next one as a danger until I can recall. Yeah, that no, we're fine. So, I went to Stratford about went to Stratford in July to get on the GB Rail Freight charter train down to Paynton which was a lovely day out you know silver service on the train served breakfast and wine and drink and everything else down to Paynton class 50s for traction for the win absolutely lovely well I'll tell you about my wife on that day she had a little bit too much to drink on the on the um, on the charter train. I think she left half of her drink on the pavement outside Westfield Shopping Centre. She's holding her head in shame. <laughs> and then to top it all off, to top it all off, two days later we went on holiday. We come back from holiday. And I had a fine because I hadn't paid the low emissions charge. So I ended up having to pay 90 quid for the low emissions charge as well. So... Thank you, Sadiq. I have a, I have a two-litre diesel, and it's not ULES compliant, but we have someone at work who has like a five-litre Ford Mustang, and it is ULES compliant. Um, I know, this is me getting my soapbox. I'm ranting. The Mayor of London, we care about your health, unless you pay us money, and then we don't care. 
Uh, all views and opinions expressed within this stream are solely I may not affect those of any companies I may be employed by or associated with. I have no political affiliation. All that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, Reagan, no, I, I was sober, but so, so, sober, but no, I was completely sober because I had to drive home. Um, I, I, I had a bottle of. I tell you what, I, I tell you what, I drank on the train. I had a bottle of Bishop's Finger. I had a Bishop's Finger on the train. This, this is going downhill rapidly. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean the train driving. Um, no, I, I, yeah, I had to drive home, so yeah, I, I hadn't had a drink, but um, yeah, Danny had managed to consume five bottles of wine. Uh, yeah, bottles of wine at that point. It's quite amusing. I have a picture somewhere. Um, I, t I tell you what, I tell you what, Do you, who wants to see the picture? <laughs> AWS for a 40, right, commentary driving, let's, let's get back to the stream. Um, I am taking your instruction, RT. I should have had you in the voice chat, but... We're getting down for that 40. GCR, poor bishop. <laughs> uh, train spot from Berkshire, yes please. Grape juice, me, GCR support. Everyone wants to see the picture. <laughs> it's not, I, I think I'd be a dead man. Do I have your permission? She's sitting over there. That's, 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 that's a no, isn't it? <laughs> How much wine can one person consume? Um, not five bottles, apparently, because it didn't stay in. Pavement pizza. It gets worse. <laughs> right, let's, let's get back to the train. Uh, train driver Sam, I think I've set the record for the most beer in a day session. I, I can quite believe that. leaving the room I can show you the picture <laughs> six bottles six bottles and it's pie by kidney well that's what you have kids for you have kids so then if you need a kidney you've got some spare ones <laughs> what was the, I'm trying to drive a train here what was the last signal is that my red <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, one yellow, platform 10. Let's get the brakes in. Dear, oh dear. The conversation's certainly gone downhill tonight. Reagan, I've done three cans of cider with Simsig before, never again. Fifteen in the tunnel, Richard. Eh, it's fifteen-ish. You definitely got a death wish. <laughs> Has this got TPWS loops? Um, coming into, so coming into a platform, you want to be doing fifteen uh, terminal platform, fifteen at the ramps, then under ten for the TPWS loops. I don't know if they're modelled or not, but we'll assume they are and get the speed down. And we want to stop around about six foot away from the buffer stops. It's really hard to judge six foot away from the buffer stops as well. That, that's... Harder than you think.
We've got to remember on the class 90 as well, we got the nose on the front. Um, how did we do? Oh, it's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. What we do now is keep the brake in and power through the brake. And that means as soon as I shut the power off, the train will stop dead. Oh, there you go. That'll do. That's close enough. There we go. Doors, doors, doors. London Liverpool Street, I believe. That's more or less a right time. Oh, no. No, that's a, that's a right time arrival at London Liverpool Street. We made it. We made it on time. Let's do. Post your numbers now for locomotive delivery location. We got so engrossed in the conversation, we forgot about locomotive location livery. Um, Artie, I cannot believe you move without authority. I know, I know, I'm a bad boy. Um, well done, driver, despite late running, despite a late running service in front of you and a little congestion. Is anyone else seeing this? A little congestion in the Stratford area. You managed to arrive on time. Go and have a well earned rest. <laughs> Do you know what? We didn't have tea and biscuits with a manager even once. Uh, Artie, yeah, I, I didn't shut the cab down. Uh, move without authority. I I, uh, I can't argue with that one. That should be tea and biscuits moving without signal as authority. Um, so here's a question for you, Artie. If you stop at a station, say you're a, a, a 12 car train, you stop, at, you stop at a normal station, the signal at the end of the platform is green, and you stop on the four car mark, you don't open the doors, can you move the train forward without authority? Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Roblox Olympics. You're the third one on my screen with number 20. Do you know what? I'm going to give you a couple along the top here just to help you out with that location because I've completely neglected the game. Um, we'll see if anyone can get the location for those ones there. See if anyone can get the location for those in there. Uh, hey, I was right. There was a stopping service at Stratford. Absolutely. Train driver Sam says no. To my question. Uh, Artie, of course not. I'm contacting the signal for authority. Why? Would be my question. Why do you need to contact the signal for authority? Uh, if you stopped on the four car mark, you need to move down to the eight. If the guard dispatched you or you were DOO dispatched, you wouldn't ask for authority to start moving again. I believe, don't quote me on this because it's a long time since I've done passenger work, but providing you're not against a red signal, you can move the train under, you don't need to ask for authority. If you're at a red signal, you do need to ask for authority because you could have permissive working. There could be another train coming in in front or behind you. But if you are stopped at a station and the starting signal is in the off position, you can move down that platform um, of your own, your own authority, I believe. Yeah. Or maybe that was just a South Eastern thing. Not that I ever worked for South Eastern. What am I saying? What am I saying? Right, what have we got? Locomotive location livery. We are going... Aha, we have, we have a right answer. We have a right answer. It's time to reveal today's locomotive livery location. Thank you very much, Marcel Jagger, for sending that in. Um, Roblox Olympics, you are the first one to come up with the correct location there. Uh, that was, of course, BR Blue at Leeds. We should have played that a few more times throughout the stream. That is completely and utterly my fault, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, so I, I take full responsibility for not playing enough rounds of that as we were going along. But thank you very much. And if you do want to send any pictures for locomotive location delivery, www.dadrail.co. Or I believe we have dad-rail.com now as well. But dadrail.co I think still works. Artie will confirm in the chat. Uh, and you can send your pictures for locomotive location delivery in via that. Let's press that button there. It is good. Get the microphone out of the way. It is good to be back doing some streaming. Hopefully I'll get the computer issues sorted and we won't be going through that again. Um, the background will change as well as I finish my decorating. The clutter will disappear. Uh, which will be good. So yeah. Um, 
next time I stream will hopefully be later on this week. We'll probably be in Train Sim World 4. Um, I want to do the Antelope Valley line because we haven't done that one uh, yet. So I'm hoping to do that one, the American one. Don't forget about the Children in Need charity live stream 17. I know you guys, a lot of you are going to be at work and school and stuff and I appreciate that. But um, 17th of... November starting 7.30 in the morning going on for 24 hours um, and justgiving.com forward slash page forward slash dadrail um, any donations greatly appreciated all for BBC children in need and you'll find a link to that in the description below and like I say we do have some absolutely fabulous guests coming on um, giving up their time so to answer your questions and to hopefully create what's going to be a, a really good and interesting event community meetup Sunday the 12th London Transport Museum information in the discord server Ah, oh, that's not working either. I thought I fixed that. It's all gone wrong. Information <laughs> information about that in the Discord server. Let's try that again. There should be a link in the description below. There we go. Uh, and October, November, sorry, the 25th, Wally National Model Ra Wally Model Railway Exhibition at the National Exhibition Centre. Um, if you do see me wandering around there, then do come over and say hello. There we go, guys. That is it. We are done. It. Tim Trainer, thank you very much, bud. Um, yeah, we're done. It kind of, it worked in the end. We got there in the end. So all that remains for me to do is say thank you very much. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button. Consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. Social media channels on the screen for you right now. I am going to press the button there, which should hopefully start the music. It's knocked everything else off. Hopefully it's going to start the music, please. Yay, and thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.